I just wanna check off my checklist yeah. You just wanna eat, sleep, and Netflix I, I ain't got no time for that, I feel like I got my fire back Everyone that's making all the bullshit, I retire that People dropping albums, ain't nobody fucking buying that You just living lies and hope that you can get a follow back You follow me What is going on, guys? Listen, I'm gonna take the time out to say thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. I know I haven't put out a video in a while. I have two channels. Uh, I'm a musician first, I make hip hop music. That's my thing. I'm a videographer by, I guess by choice, but it's because I was a music artist who needed videos and I was get, I was just tired of like paying for a videographer to come shoot my stuff or just being on other people's time. And I just, be, I just started to become obsessed with, you know, making videos and the whole idea of videography. So. I bought a bunch of stuff I didn't know how to use and learned it by watching YouTube tutorials just like this one. So I feel like me creating this production page to do these tutorials is like kind of paying it back to all the people that helped me. Okay, so I have this sky replacement. I've seen how people um, mask out around, you know, let's say a mountain landscape or trees. You know, you have to go frame by frame and mask out the sky, right? And then drop in, you know, a time lapse stock footage something like that that's cool it works great it looks great um but it takes a lot of time my whole thing is how can i do the same thing in less time so let's jump into final cut pro let's take this clip right here all right so here's me not color graded i'd like to take where is it color finale pro boom drop it on all right open controls the point the fact of the matter is this right here is what we want see all this blue that's what we want. So now I'm gonna open my LUT utility where I have, you know, a shit ton of LUTs. So I'm just gonna go into this LUT gallery up here, top right, edit. And we're just gonna look at different LUTs, right? Which one looks good? Which one makes my hair look the least on fire? That's what I always do when I edit. Don't want my hair to be looking like the shit's on fire. Man, a lot of these LUTs make my hair look super orange, super cheese it. Cine vintage right here, boom, bang, apply. All right, cool. This is where you know, the finesse comes in, right? Now, if you wanted to do the sky replacement the way a lot of YouTubers show you, you're gonna have to go in, put a draw mask onto this. You're gonna have to be at the beginning of the frame and you're gonna have to mask out all around these trees, right? Around your head, around your subject, right? You know, you're gonna have to mask out that entire thing and you're gonna have to do that frame by frame for however long that particular clip is. And that, as you know, if you've done it before, can take a bajillion years, especially if you have a slow computer and the rendering blows. It sucks, especially if you're on 4K. Color Finale Pro, has this thing called six vectors. Um, I believe the new final cut, you're able to do it. You basically manipulate certain colors. Now, here's the colors right here, right? Here's the blue, boom. We're gonna go to the hue section and we're gonna, look at this. If I go to the right, look at look how the sky is literally turning like an aquamarine, aqua berry, right? So now that it's more on the light blue side, we're gonna go to the light blue, boom. Now we can finesse the light blue. So now we're gonna move this, look at this. If I move to the right, look at the color looks green to me don't it i think you guys know where i'm going with this i'm gonna boost this saturation right but now look it's casting onto the water because the reflection of the water in the sky it, you know it is what it is you see where i'm going with this right now the sky is green who knows who knows what i'm doing here i'm gonna take this this luminositive whatever if i do that it makes it too bright if i come down look, look how dark that green starts to get you know where i'm going with this now your sky is green we're gonna go to our effects tab and we're gonna go into yep keying we're gonna take our keyer look ready boom look at that just blacked out the sky now i know it looks crazy this is where you know you go in to be honest with you i have no idea like what these sliders mean i don't know the exact ones to go in i just slide away until the shit looks good period that's what i do don't judge oh sorry about that don't judge me i just slide it till it looks good so we're gonna play around with this, this fill look that makes it look like shit we don't want that so we're gonna okay Edge distance, what's this do? Absolutely nothing. Okay, spill level, that's doing nothing. All right, color selection. Manual, we, you know, you always wanna go manual, but like, here we go. We're gonna look, you know, okay, this is doing a whole lot of nothing. It's basically, okay, that's doing something. Okay, all right, chroma roll off, what's this do? Oh, there we go. It's making it darker, that's what we want. We want, we want all that luma roll off, what's this? Does nothing, great, okay levels there we go see how that we want that black to go all the way down to the tree line now we're talking see the levels there's definitely definitely levels to the shit whoa no no we don't want that and we definitely want to soften look at this 
it gives it like this glow it actually looks kind of dope see that as i go like that it gives the trees like this like mystic glow looks pretty dope to me okay now we're cooking with grease here we go so now you keyed out the green you made the sky green, right? Because the sky, you have to make sure that if you're doing this, the sky has to be the only thing that is blue in the video. You want nothing else around you to be blue because it'll it'll manipulate all the blues in the entire video. You go and you go get some stock footage. I'm not sponsored by any stock footage websites like the rest of these YouTubers, but there's plenty of stock footage websites or you can just go on YouTube and rip it like everybody else. That's what I do. So I found this nice little, look at this, you know, some angelic, you know, cool. All right, so we're gonna drop it Boom, underneath. Look at that already. Look at that already. Now, obviously we can play around with it. It's, it's in my eyes a little bit. Take the music off of that. But look already, look already. Look at what we got already. Now we can go in and we can edit. We can make, you know, do some slight adjustments. Now you see how it's kind of over spilling and shit like that. So this is this is where you go in and you and, and now you play with your sliders to kind of get it to go where you want it to go. So I'm just going back on my sliders because I see, you know, some of this over spill. After you play with all the controls, you can do that at your own discretion. Like you just, you, you basically just do it until it looks good. I, I don't know the specifics, but you play with the sliders and you get something that looks something like this. Now, obviously this image being overexposed kind of screws around with it, but it still looks fire. Now you can see like it's, it, my, it's catching my car and stuff like that. But if you get in a perfect, in a perfect setting where the sky is blue as hell, it's the only thing that's blue. You get a perfectly exposed image, which on me, I should have, I screwed that up. Nail your exposure. Make sure the sky is nice and blue that day. You don't want to do a gray sky, obviously. So you can manipulate the blues in the picture. Then boom, drop your keyer on there. Play with the sliders until, you know, it keys out all of the, all of the, the blue or the green that you just transferred it to. It'll key all that out. And then you drop underneath any clip, put anything in there. Look at that. Now you just made like a cool little split screen effect behind the trees. Have fun with it. Be creative, alter the colors in your video to green and then key them out. And then you can drop videos right underneath and it'll look something like this. And it just adds another dynamic to your whole project. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you like, subscribe, what, what's all that other stuff? There's, there's so many other things, hit the bell, you know, and I'll keep making these. I was, I was honestly so blown away by the amount of comments and the amount of people like, damn, this really helped me, blah, 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 you know, with the scribble animation and the cinema graph. That's awesome. So if you guys are really feeling it, I will continue to do this. I appreciate you guys. Until next time. Peace.